Mosquitoes. The worst. Especially if you live in a place where they carry horrific and deadly diseases. And that's why it's become a huge humanitarian crisis to get rid of them, or at least get rid of the diseases that they're carrying. On a side note, I'll just throw out there that mosquitoes are a pretty good argument against the existence of any god. Because... Sure, mosquitoes are a part of the food chain in that birds and fish eat them, but if mosquitoes were to go extinct tomorrow, probably everything would still be okay. That's, that's the official answer from biologists, is a big, like, uh, the world would probably get along okay without them. So, fuck mosquitoes, and if God made them, then fuck God too. Mosquitoes find you and bite you based on seeking out several things, like the carbon dioxide you breathe out, the heat you emit, and also the chemicals that seep out of your skin, you disgusting, leaking bag of sentient meat. The best stuff we have for warding off mosquitoes right now is DEET, which was developed by the U.S. military in the 1940s. But amazingly, we weren't really sure how it worked until 2011, when a woman named Leslie Vosshall did some experiments and figured out that it wasn't that the DEET was just covering up the chemical smell of our skin, but it was actually chemically altering the mosquitoes' brains so they were getting their signals mixed up and they weren't sure what they were smelling. Pretty cool. DEET can be mildly irritating if you rub it all over your skin for extended periods of time, and you also shouldn't rub it all over babies. So for those reasons and the fact that it has a scary chemical name and it was developed by the military, some people, a lot of people, are scared of it. And so instead they turn to all natural alternatives to repel mosquitoes. Unfortunately, a study has just come out showing that those alternatives are basically useless. Nope. Not based, they're just useless. They're useless. They don't work, and not only do they not work, but Victoria's Secret perfume actually works better than all natural bug repellents. On another side note, I have seen some outlets reporting on this study saying that the all natural bug repellents actually attracted more bugs than the control of having nothing at all. Uh, that's not true, uh, at least statistically speaking, which is the only way to speak when you're talking about these studies. Statistically, there was zero difference between a hand that had nothing on it and a hand that had all natural mosquito repellent on it. As for the perfume, it didn't work as well as DEET, but if you're the sort of person who thinks that a chemical invented by a multi-million dollar underpants manufacturer is somehow more natural or safer than a chemical invented by the military industrial complex, then hey, maybe try that instead. The researchers think that that one does work by actually blocking our human chemical smell. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that for this study, they used very high concentrations of the perfume. So in order to get that same effect in the real world, you'd have to practically bathe in the stuff. Judging from my own experiences taking public transportation, I would say that that's actually probably not much of a barrier for many people. But it should be. It really should be.